Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The assets like flight refueler aircraft FRA and airborne early warning systems are called force multiplier for any air force. This you would have heard many times but let me explain you why. The power of air force is in its rapid deployment compared to the conventional forces. Air refueling increases the deployment speed by eliminating the en route stops. Air refueling extends the aircraft range to limit of the air crew making strategic targets accessible to tactical aircraft. If air force has enough refuelers, the fighter jets need not to carry additional drop tanks and can take off with their full weapon payload delivering their maximum combat power. Now since we know the importance of refuelers, let's try to understand the present capability of our Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force is currently operating 6 Elosheen IL-78 equipped with Israel's fuel transfer system. These refuelers were inducted way back in the year 2003, almost 19 years ago. The IL-78 refuelers can refuel three aircrafts simultaneously. In one operation, it can refuel beasts like Su-30 MKI 6 to 8 times. It has also refueled Jaguar and Mirage fighter jets of Indian Air Force. We have also seen recently the refueling of Netra, AW and C by these refuelers. However, their actual serviceability has been under 50% as per few reports, which means that at a given time, Air Force won't have more than 3 refuelers available. Just 3 refuelers for an Air Force operating massive fleet of 6,000 fighter jets is a huge capability gap. Considering the service ability of IL-78 refuelers and two front war situation, Indian Air Force at least needs six additional air refuelers. The endeavor for the same has started with an RFI back in January 2018. The competitors for this requirement are IL-78, Airbus A330MRTT, Boeing KC-46 Pegasus and Boeing 767-300ER multi-mission tanker transport. Back in April 2021, it was reported that Indian Air Force is now looking to lease the mid-air refueling aircraft and will adopt a new methodology for process based on the number of hours of availability as criteria. The leasing will be based on hours of availability per year, indicating the minimum and maximum hours required. Recently, the Chief of Air Staff has also told that Indian Air Force is moving a case for procuring 6 FRA for meeting its operational requirements for which the qualitative requirements are being finalized. In the interim, to meet our current training requirements, a case is under progress to lease 1 FRA. RFI for the weight release was issued in March 2021 for which 6 vendors have responded. Evaluation of the same has been completed and the draft LOR is under process. Now, as for a few more reports, Indian Air Force is in discussion with France for leasing one A330 multi-role transport tanker, which can not only act as a refueler but also as a transport aircraft. Ahead of touchdown in Australia's Darwin to participate in 17-nation war game Pitch Black, Indian Air Force fighter jets Su-30 MKIs were refueled by a French Air Force A330 Phoenix. Earlier, Airbus had also made a package deal for six. A330 MRTT that included an air-to-air -air refueling kit for the 56 Airbus C295 aircraft. In a typical deployment mission, the A330 can support deployment of 4 fighter aircraft plus 50 personnel and 12 tons of freight which includes luggage, spare parts and equipment in one direct flight over 5200 km example, from Europe to Afghanistan. The A330 MRTT can carry up to 111 tons of fuel. This is the highest capacity of all tanker aircraft, even those with additional fuel tanks in the cargo deck. The A330 MRTT can carry a maximum payload of up to 45 tons, combining the passenger cabin and the lower deck with capacity of up to 300 passengers. Now recently we have reported that HL has entered into a memorandum of understanding with Israeli Aerospace to convert civil or passenger aircraft into multi-mission transport tanker aircraft in India. The scope of MOU has also covered the conversion of passenger to freight aircraft. This move will provide India's defense ecosystem with new capabilities and cost-effective solution in the market. 
as per the reports from Hindu, six Boeing 767s will be converted from civil to military certification. HAL will float a global tender to purchase second-hand Boeing 767 from the market. The overall process is expected to take at least three to four years. The Boeing KC-46 Pegasus, which is the aerial refueling and strategic military transport aircraft of US military, is also based on Boeing 767 platform. It has refueling capacity of 106 ton and can carry 114 people. In addition, HL is also looking to convert Boeing 747 of Air India for dedicated cargo role. The aircraft will be available from Air India and have been recently pulled out from civilian role as they have completed 20 years. The feasibility study for the same is also being ascertained. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.